Hi there and welcome to today's Quantum Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm showing you how to do a Ed Fairburn style response using a picture of a map from your phone map service and a picture of a portrait. I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to do this in Photop. Photop, as you know, is a free online version which you can find at photop.com. And um, first of all, we're going to have a look at the artist's work. So this is Ed Fairburn's work. He's famous for producing these lovely portraits onto maps. He takes photographs of old maps and new maps, and he adds the portrait, and he makes it fit really nicely with the human figure. Um, he's very successful. You can search him up on the internet and find out more about his work. And um, I'll show you how we do them in Photoshop first. So I'll put Photoshop back over here. In order to do this, what you will need is to open a picture of a portrait. I've got them saved in a folder, so that's my portrait photograph. And there you go, you can see the portrait is there, and you will need, also need to place embedded a picture of a map. So I've taken a screenshot of my phone map, and you can see there it is there. Now, as you can see, the phone map is quite a small picture compared to the portrait, so I'll stretch it larger and position it where I would like it. Now, when I did this, I've got a few of the bits of writing on it, so I'm going to stretch it so that we don't see those. And we will stretch it out and fill the space accordingly. So down to there, stretch it over like so, move it up there, stretch it a bit more. And it will look something like that. You'll see at the moment it's a bit blurry, so if I hit the enter button on the keyboard and place it, it will get its resolution back up. And you can see all these intricate little roads, etc, etc. This will create the pattern that you see over here. And to do that, I'll need to be opening my layers menu. I'll need to place my phone map underneath the picture of the face. So to do that, make sure I tick the unlock button here. I drag and drop the layer so it's below so I've now got the face above it what I will need to do to the face is obviously to create this sort of effect I will need it black and white so first things first is I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'm going to find black and white I will click OK and you'll see I've now got a black and white picture to create this effect where it looks like a sort of poster effect or it looks like it's been drawn by pencil there are several ways of doing it but today I'm going to use the image adjustment and posterize. If I choose the right amount of layers, I will get a really nice posterized image. I'm going to go for about five or six. I might go for six this time because we've got a bit more of the eye showing here compared to my first one over here. I might go to eight. Click OK. Now you can see that it has blended it all down. I might also go to Image Adjustments, Brightness Contrast, give it some more contrast, make it a bit brighter, a bit more contrast, and click OK there. So I've now got my image. In order to get it to blend with the background, again, there are many ways to do it. You can change the opacity, which would look like this, which would be a bit faded out y, so not that effective. Or you can change the layer mode. In this case, I'm going to go for overlay. And you can see how that looks, or soft light and see how that looks. I think soft light is more effective for the look I'm looking for. So we'll click on that and we will do that as our design. And there you have it, that's the Photoshop version. You can see here, again, we can adjust different aspects of it. We can make different bits of it darker or lighter depending on what we're looking for so we could go to the layer with the phone map on it we could change the image adjustments and we could play around with the hue and saturation of the image we could change it to a bit more green we can make it brighter with the colors on saturate or darker so it looks like that and that could be a more effective response okay so once we've done that we'll save that one so we'll go to file save as Save on your computer and we'll call it Ed Fairburn Portrait number two. We've got two different responses. Click OK. So that's how you do it in Photoshop. 
and it's a very similar process over in PhotoP. If I come over to PhotoP, we will go to File and Open. Now, the thing with PhotoP, obviously with the internet, it sometimes gets a little bit laggy. We will find the portrait again, click Open. And that is the only sad disadvantage with using PhotoP is the lag that you get between images. There's the face you see, and then we need to go to File, and this time I need to move my little face over here while I'm talking. We need to go to Open and Place, which is a slightly different command to the one on Photoshop. We find the phone map, click Open, it loads, and you can see it's a slightly different scale on here. Again, we drag it so that it fills the space, and again, it's going to be a little bit more laggy because we're doing it online using the internet connection. So it's not quite as slick and smooth as Photoshop is. And it can be a little bit frustrating waiting for it to catch up with the lag. We'll stretch it like that. I'll move it up slightly. Now, if you notice, I've lost the corner over here. So if I go to view, zoom out, I can see the corner again. I can. Click and drag it a bit more and get my image where I want it, which is there. Press enter and wait for it to stop lagging, and then it should hopefully be done. I'll go to view, fit the area, and it will fill it back in. Then I need to look for my layers menu over here. It doesn't have layers written next to it unless you hover over it. It's this one here. We click on it, the layers come over. We need to swap the image round and you can see I've got these extra layers that I don't need so don't worry about those. On the picture of the portrait again I go to image adjustments look for black and white it's in the same place click OK does exactly the same thing I then need to remember to go to image adjustments and posterize down here same amount of levels that I used before, and you can see it does it virtually the same thing. Slightly different resolution on this. I think six layers will work pretty well here. If I hide the layers a minute, you can see if that is very similar. Yes, I'm quite happy with that posterize effect. I will also need to go back over to move this out of the way again. Everything's lagging today. Move that there, and then I'll go up to my layers and make sure I've got the right one. Yep, go to the layer menu here, and I will need to make sure they're all on one layer. So make sure they're all. I need them all over. I don't know why I've got so many layers for some reason, it's just duplicated them. Go over to here, change my layer mode, and we will go for multiply. And there you go, we've got a very similar effect to Photoshop. And again, I can go into the layer menu again, go into the phone map layer, and I can make adjustments in image adjustments of my hue saturation at some point. It will let me, it's going to be lagging. And again, I can change the hue slightly and the saturation slightly. And you can see, because of the lag from the internet, it's a little bit more harder to get that fine tuning that you get with Photoshop. But it will eventually do the job as required. And again, I'll hit file save as for that one as well. So there you are. Those are my two responses to Ed Fairburn. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and if you have, obviously, pop over to Nature of Flowers, Quentin Cup to Nature of Flowers, hit that subscribe button, tick the bell so you get notified when I make new notifications, and if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Okay, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, cheers, and bye.